wake up to that understanding and understand more about time, the concept of time, how time is regulated. And for all the people that weren't here last week, um, I had mentioned that I was walking on the beach one day and uh, the word time appeared before me and, and I saw a hyphen in between and it said T-I hyphen M-E, which means to tie me, to restrict me. It's, it's, it's restriction, but then when you reverse the word, it spells emit. Emit means to flow. Now, in physics, it is understood that cre you, creation or physicality exists as both a, a wave, waves like, like this, and a particle. So it's wave and particle. So that means it goes into waveform and then it becomes a particle. Well, that's time. That, that's time. That's what, how time is supposed to operate. You seize the moment, which is what this is. This is but a moment. It just seems like forever. We're really only living a moment. So you seize that and you freeze it. But we've frozen it and we're like, okay, we're, we're just going to stay right here. We've frozen this. This is good. We're comfortable with it. This is what we know. We've been doing this for a while. That's it. That's all there is. No. So now, so now, what I was speaking to you about before with the, um, with, with the fluidity, it's being able to understand that, and then your creations are always supposed to, you experience them, and then you, they flow. You, you, they flow into something else. They become something else. But you have to allow your creation to become something else instead of freezing it like that. Because when you freeze it like that, that's what happens. You... The, the, right, the decay process, all of that starts, it starts to, to crumble. Um, and it's, it's sort of like uh, houses that are abandoned. It's, it's really interesting because houses that are abandoned, if you go in there, nobody's been in there, nobody's done anything, but they're falling apart. You know why they're falling apart? Because there's nobody there to observe it into remaining in existence. And if it stood there for a while, it would crumble even more and more. And over, I don't know how many period of time, eventually it would fall apart. Because it's you. It's you, the observer, that is holding reality in place. It is your consciousness that's holding reality in place. So that is what is so phenomenal, is to understand that, realize that really make it work for you and turn that into something else. How can I now use this in other aspects of, of my life, in creating my life? Um, the other thing is the fact that um, God, I, I, every now and then I, I start telling you something and it just goes, shoop. Yeah, it, it'll just go out the door. But it'll come back. It'll come back. But anyway, I wanted to I emphasize on the... Um, the aging thing, because the aging thing is, is it, and, and if we don't look at it as necessarily me just talking about you physically aging, but I want you to get the science of what is happening. That's really what I want you to get. I want you to get the science of what is happening. What does that mean? A decline. Isn't that what's happening? It's a gradual decline, and that's happening for a reason. One of the things that I started looking into is um, women and menopause. There was just something that just didn't set right with me on that. I don't know a lot of people were like, well, you know, it's just the way it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not just the way it is. There is something off about that. And we have all been programmed to accept that. And the reason why it menopause has to exist is because what does it do? It starts shutting you down. That's what it does. It starts to shut you down. You, the estrogen is decreased, so that's why you people end up getting, you know, estrogen. Um, what is it? Hormone therapy. That starts to happen, and when that happens, what happens is a lot of times aging kicks in a lot faster because it, it's it's related to um, it's connected to the the uh, uh, pineal gland again, which is all tied into the circadian rhythm of the body which you know, determines the day and night cycle. Well, out of that serotonin and melatonin, there are other neurotransmitters that come from that. Serotonin is your daytime hormone. It's, you know, it's, it's related to um, um, light, 
Okay, so your 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 eyes are picking up the light, and that's what okay that's what causes the um, serotonin, the body to go. Okay, we're, that's what we're producing. Then, when, as it starts to get dark, it starts to wane. Melatonin starts to come about. It 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 synthesizes. It actually becomes melatonin, and then. Um, as you go on through the evening, you start, you, know, you start to get tired, you start to get sleepy. And what happens is the body, the brain is starting to shut down the body for repair at night. So then when you go to sleep, sometimes you have crazy dreams. And those dreams are really a code for the, uh, in the first part of your dream state, code for the body. It's the, it's the brain and the body's way of communicating to repair the body from the day's stress or damage or whatever it is that you've had throughout the day. And then after, uh, after midnight, after that happens, after midnight, then another chemical, another hormone gets produced called um, penaline. Um, and then hemaline is produced after that. Now hemaline, most people don't have that much of that being produced because the, these are all, now you're getting into the really heavily spiritual chemicals that cause you to take flight at night, that cause you to travel and to go learn and, and, and to come back in. Those are very significant. Well, most people, one, they don't get enough sleep and just lots of factors involved why that hormone is not being produced as, reg as much. And that hormone is heavily responsible for you aging in a very big way. So it's hemaline, um, uh, penaline, and then hemaline. And then by the time you hit, um, you, you know, three o'clock, the wee hours of the morning, you notice that you'll get dreams that are, um, that you remember, okay? Those are, that's the time of the morning. Those are the dreams that are generally from the travel, from wherever you've been and you acquired and you learn and you come back and they come back in symbols of things a lot of times to happen and you get people that, you know, I, I've had that the other day um, with what I was dreaming anyway with my kids and then I got a message from them which is so on because it turns out that my older son, they're having another baby. Their first one is seven and now they're having another one. So I was all excited because I'm hoping it's a girl with all these boys around, <laughs> these boys in the family. But uh, so I, you're able to go and you're able to travel and you're able to see that and, you, and that information comes in in the wee hours of the morning and that's the stuff that you really remember is the stuff that's really powerful. Sometimes you can't hold on to it, sometimes you forget and then throughout the day it starts to come back. But my whole point is that this is all a divine science. You gotta understand that this is all a design science and wake up to that science, wake up. Uh, when you wake up to that science, you're gonna wake that, your body up, you're gonna wake your mind up, you're gonna wake your brain up, and commit to it. It's gonna be okay. You're, you're gonna have some moments where it's questionable, but you've gotta decide, it's like, do I really wanna do it? It's, it's fine, it, nobody, nobody fails, and nobody really dies. There's two most important things. Jeez. Nobody fails and nobody right. dies. That's the bottom line of it. You get that, kind of like sleeping in my car. <laughs> when you get that, you're good to go. That's what I always say. I'm like, okay, I got those three things, sleeping in my car. Okay, I got a car, it's paid for, <laughs> sleep in my car. And, and these two other things, I'm good to go. And then the other thing is, associated with that is,